Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. This is a collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that's come into your life. Welcome everybody. Welcome back. It's a fully channeled message. Let's see what spirit has for you today. Spirit, please share with me any messages of love and guidance for anyone who has found this reading. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. Let's see. I have a storm. It's okay to feel it all. Cleanse, collapse of the old, and then a realignment. We all go through storms. We all struggle. Every time there's a storm, you know, just remember the sun comes out. So for those of you that have gone through a storm recently, it's going to pass. You're going to get out of it. You're going to realign with what it is that spirit has for you. So I know that there's no perfect, you know, not everybody's always blissfully happy all the time, but the storms do pass. So we're just going to hold on to that just for today. I have nurture, self-healing, Ruby Ray birthing the new earth. So nurturing yourself, Mother Earth, the Empress, you know, all of those feelings coming in. So maybe the storm is a reminder to you that you've got to take care of yourself first, something along those lines. Let's see what else we have. I have guidance, an inner compass, support and trust your guidance, trust your intuition. You know, look at this kind of riding, you know, riding on this unicorn energy. And I know that I'm being guided. We have to believe that we're being guided. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we start to lose our faith. But we have to believe that no matter what, spirit has the best intentions for you. So listen to that inner compass. If it's saying, I have to take care of myself first right now, I know there's something better for me, I know that, that that there's another side to all of this, then that's what I want you to hear and that's where I want you to be guided to. One more, please, Spirit. And then I have stepping stones. Take the next step, let go of the old paradigm take the next step that is so important so we're gonna we're gonna definitely work on taking the next step what's the next step for you and even what's the next step within a relationship so taking steps welcome everybody welcome back to anybody um that's returning thank you for your love and support welcome to anybody that's new please remember to hit that like button comment below those things really do help um, the channel to grow and to keep these readings in front of all of you. So let's see what we have. Spirit, please share with me this guidance. I love the inner compass um, because sometimes we don't, we don't listen to it. Um, sometimes we we ignore it. We ignore the red flags. We ignore the um, I don't know why I'm not happy with this situation. We ignore um, friends or family making comments about a situation and we, we just kind of brush it off. Sometimes they see things that we don't see. So that inner compass is really, really important right now. So tap into that as best you can. I have a knight of swords. I have a death card. I have a Knight of Cups. Beautiful. I have a Seven of Wands. These two came out together. Two of two of Cups and a Herald of Spring. So look at this gorgeous energy of Two of Cups and this page of page of, of wands. So these are little fairy, fairy cards. So I'll, I'll take it. But it's a feeling of, I found somebody, I'm excited. I mean, he, he looks like he's dancing, you know, <laughs> I'm dancing, I'm just dancing for joy. I've met somebody, a night of summer, night of summer comes in, this is my night of cups, two of cups. So you can see, I'm just happy. I'm ecstatic. I'm, ex I'm happy that I've met you. So this is coming into me clearly as new love and it's coming into me as new romance. So we want those romantic feelings to be flowing. We want that energy to 
uh, literally, you know, look at he's flying. I want to be flying, you know, just this. I'm excited about this connection. And then the bottom of the deck, I have I have the stars. So I'm excited about this connection. King of Cups, King of Summer, passionate, committed, a four of autumn, four of pentacles, a little bit of a guarding feeling, holding back. What do you want from me? Um, a little bit of a feeling of, I want to make sure this is real. Okay. So that could be you. That could be them. Sometimes when somebody comes into your energy and it's beautiful and it's wonderful, you just don't believe it. You know, it really is too good to be true or it is a feeling of what's going to, you know, when's the real, you know, the real person going to come out. But other times it is it is exactly what it is. It's, it's just been put in front of you now. Spirit, please share with me guidance for this connection little bit of a guarding feeling, but other than that, I feel like it's it's new love coming in in a, in a strong connection of romance and a strong con connection of, of uh, feeling. So we're going to stay with that for a minute. I have the number 15. That could be important to some of you. This beautiful majestic lion could be a Leo energy, authority, self-esteem, overcoming difficulties, de devoted and heart-centered. I want devoted and heart centered. I want somebody who um, it gives my heart, you know, um, gives their heart completely and doesn't go back and forth with their feelings. And I don't know what I want. So I do want somebody that's going to be devoted, not only devoted to you, but devoted to the us, devoted to that there's a, a connection here and that we both have to work hard at it. So I'm going to grab that third person, another person involved, someone else influences it, a stranger, a third party, too many people. I'm going to go back to this guarding myself. I don't feel like someone's coming into your energy that's going to put you in a third party situation. Spirit wouldn't do that to you. Plus, you're, if you went through a storm from some kind of situation, you're not going to put yourself in that kind of a situation again. So, but it could be I'm on guard. I just want to make sure that your intentions are pure. I'm just going to make sure that you don't have an ex or somebody that you're still holding, you know, a flame to in the background that if they change their mind, all of a sudden, you know, things change with us. So, um, it's okay. I think those are realistic expectations with any new relationship is you want to find out, is there any skeletons in the closet? Um, is there somebody in the wings that they have been waiting for? And, you know, this is going to be temporary, but I feel like once we get over the hurdle of that's not true, then they're going to, the real feelings are going to be um, coming forward. I have winter detached, contemplation, silence, rest, self-reflection, a celebration, thinking it over, thinking it over before we jump in. So this connection could move slower than we like. We want to make sure that this is somebody that their intentions are pure. Spirit just said that they want the best for you and they want the best for themselves. They're not interested in getting involved in a third party either. They wouldn't put themselves in that kind of a situation. I, they want to feel grounded. <clears throat> Excuse me. They want to feel grounded. I like that. They want to put down roots. Um, they're evolving. They're connected to the source. So connected to a higher power, connected to spirit that, it is a feeling of I want to put down roots with somebody, somebody who wants to grow. Spirit's saying very much that you want to both be on the same page. So that is that is where we're starting. I feel like until we know that we both want the same things, we're going to take it slow. We're going to see what these feelings are. I have a son, the bringer of life. Beautiful, purposeful, pride, um, self-realization, directed, creative and identity but the sun of course is is the source of light and it's a source of um, even enlightenment or a feeling of 
um, growth, of course, the sun helps everything to grow. So this feeling of I feel bright, I feel excited, it's a bright and sunny day, I want to see where this goes. So once that fear is lifted of do we both want the same things? I'm going to say that you're going to be okay, because you're going to listen to your inner your inner compass this time. And your inner compass is going to say you can trust spirit. Please share with me this connection, any guidance that you have for anyone who is listening. You're, you need to listen. I have a Casanova being swept off your feet. I get it when that connection comes in quickly or all of a sudden you have feelings for somebody very fast and you don't want to wake up, you know, in a few weeks from now and realize that their intentions weren't pure or that they had been keeping something from you or there was someone in the background. So you do, um, it's a little bit of a putting on the stops um, slowing things down, whether it's on your side or their side. We might not like that energy. We might not be happy with that energy, but spirit's saying, but it's safe and you can trust it. So in this case today, this particular connection is going to go a little bit slower than we anticipated. Even if we have feelings right out of the gate, even if it's a, wow, they swept me off my feet. It, it's a I love that I'm being swept off my feet, but <laughs> I want to make sure this is going to be real. So I get that. I have trials of love. I've learned lessons from other relationships. I just came out of a storm. I'm, I'm still healing my heart. I'm still waiting to be able to trust somebody, you know, completely. And I do feel like in this case, both of you are going to have to earn each other's trust. There could be some trust issues on both sides. I have a watch watching very soon. It was a timeline. This could be coming towards you very soon if it hasn't come in already. So it could be coming into you very soon. I've been dreaming of you. I have been waiting for this love. So even if this is exactly what is supposed to happen and it's a perfect connection, I feel like we are both going to um, be very realistic in this. I feel like we are both going to say, I want to make sure that I'm not jumping into something, something like that. It's a transformative love. It's going to grow over time. So taking steps, taking uh, baby steps, something like that growing over time. I mean, that's all okay. If, if it's the right person, it doesn't matter. There's not a, a rush to the finish line. And it's, we want to make it work and we, we don't want to hurt. We don't want to get hurt and we don't want them to be hurt. We want, we want it to be, to be right. I have an anticipation. I can't wait to be with you physically is how that came into me. So I want to be with you physically. I want to, I want to make love to you. I'm anticipating making love to you. Um, violets are blue. There's a sense of loyalty here. I want to make sure I can trust you. That That is key today. Trust. For some of you, you're really struggling with trust, getting back on the horse, uh, you know, allowing somebody into your life again, um, making sure they're not just trying to seduce you and just wanting a physical relationship. So this person is going to prove their loyalty and that's what it's going to take. There's a deep conversation, a special love language. I like that. I like the feeling of until we are safe was the word that spirit shared with me. Until we feel safe in this little bubble that we've created of our own, we're going to have some deep conversations about what's important to us or our past or how we were hurt, why we feel the way we do, what triggers us, um, what our fears are. So I think those are all really good. I think that that's important because you need to understand this person and they under need to understand you. Spirit, what else do you want us to know about this connection? Once we get over the hurdle of trust, where are we headed? I have a fool. I am, I am guided and protected on my life journey. So you are safe. No matter what, spirit's keeping you safe, whether it's your own inner compass, whether it's your life lessons, whether it's your intuition, you know, it, it's just a, 
you are safe to start this journey. There's my two of cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. That is what our readings, that is what our readings are, okay? Or these readings in particular, these collective love readings, if you're new, we do these to manifest the love that we are worthy and deserving of. We do these readings to hear from spirit each day. What can we be doing in our lives to, um, to heal and to grow, to attract the love that we are worthy of, to be in a healthy and happy relationship? What is it that spirit wants for you? What is it spirit that, that is you know asking you to work on? So I love this. I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. You are. You are absolutely worthy. Claim that. That's yours today. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Ten of Wands, I love and I care for myself first. So I'm not going to let somebody into my energy that's going to hurt me. I focus on what I want and I make it happen. So you've got somebody who wants to come into your energy. And you're going to make sure that this time you're not rushing into anything. That this time you... Um, are completely clear of what their intentions are. You're completely clear of what it is they're looking for in a relationship and what it is that you want in a relationship. Three of Pentacles. When I show my work, others give support. I like, I like the Three of Pentacles in a love reading because it always makes me feel like this person respects you, that they look up to you, they see your achievements, they honor you in some way. So I always feel, and I also always feel like a uh, working together energy, that we can work together to get to where we want to be. So that's beautiful. Page of Wands. I am always open to good news. I like good news. I want good news, spirit. Five of cups. I will move forward when the time is right. When I am ready, I will move forward. I like that also. And a four of wands. The universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So four of wands, page of wands, two of cups. Is this somebody that I can see a future with? Is this somebody that I can create a life around? I'm going to say yes. This is the kind of energy that you can. It's just going to go a little bit slower. Um, but I don't think that it means anything less than true love. I, I don't feel like just because it's going a little slower doesn't mean that um, it's not magical or it's not amazing. It could be absolutely perfect for you and your person. It's just a different um, pace, I guess I want to say. And spirit's giving you strength. So going back to that storm, I can deal with whatever comes my way. So whatever, whatever's put on your plate, whoever's put in front of you, you are stronger than you know. Let's see what the love messages are saying. I want to stay focused on I'm always open for good news. I want good news, spirit. And then, of course, my two of cups is really beautiful. This is this is this is exactly what we are doing each day with this um, with these manifestations. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Two of cups, page of wands. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. I want you to own that. I want you to claim that because that that's really. It, it starts there. It starts with spirit wants to give you a deep love and let you know that that it's out there. So it starts with that feeling. Spirit, tell me about their feelings. What is it that you want me to know? Let's get this flipper. Um, sorry, I made you feel jealous. I, I want you to trust me. So we could maybe we go slow in the beginning because we want to make sure this person isn't talking to other people, that they're emotionally available, that they're not connected to anybody in any way. So we are definitely working on trust in this connection. You're my forever love. I'm thinking of forever. Okay, I want forever. The first moment I saw you, I knew I like the energy of I am attracted to you. No doubt in my mind. Obviously, I wanted to get to know you. And I also like the energy of that. We both agree that we're going to take it slow and we're going to build this trust and this devotion and focus on what are what are our hearts feeling? I'm scared you will reject me. So there's the. I'm taking it a little bit slow. Everything I've been feeling, fate, destiny, stars aligning. When 
destiny arrives, when divine timing arrives. Again, there's no timeline. It doesn't matter how fast we finish the timeline. As long as we're together, you know, as long as we are enjoying each other and loving each other, there's no sense of the finish line. It, it's we both are going to have to want the same thing. You make me want to be a better person. I like that. I just want to make love to you all night long. You know, it's okay. It, it's okay to be in a loving relationship and want somebody. And just, I feel like it's just going to take us a little while until we're doing this. I do. I feel like there's a little delay until we're making love. You do make me happy. I want you to focus on happiness. You're the only one who understands me. How about I want to get to know you? I want to just get to know you. I want to get to know your heart, your soul, you know, all of those feelings. I feel you are my soulmate. We want that. I love spending time with you and you make me happy. I'm going to say focus on that because the rest will unfold. If, if you have, I just, uh, you make me happy and I love spending time with you and we're building trust and we're opening up our hearts and we're putting, letting down our guards and we're letting somebody into our lives. I would say that that's a good start. I would say that even if it's baby steps and it's growing over time, that your inner compass is truly guiding you towards somebody who wants to spend time with you and make you happy. So I'm going to say that's a win for today. Let's put this out into the universe. I want you to follow your inner compass. If you have to hold back, if you have to take it a little slower, I want you to give yourself permission. I want you to say that that's okay. That's what you need. Because if it's the right person at the right time, it won't matter what pace you go at. You'll both want to do the right thing. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you for your comments, everybody. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website link below, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.